Hey everyone, you ready for an epic trip? I flew to Croatia and rented a scooter and drove all over the countryside and islands and I saw some of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Now, I've always wanted to go here, but I never did, never found the time, but I was in Germany and it was a quick flight down there. And when I rented the scooter, what I couldn't believe is how beautiful this place is. The water is spectacular, the weather was fantastic. It was late in the fall and I just found the most beautiful places everywhere I went. In the morning, I woke up on this little place and I went down to the water and swam and I bought a bunch of antiques and shipped them back to the United States and I just wandered through all the little country villages and little towns along the water. The streets are beautiful, they're just narrow, and the nice thing is my scooter would go everywhere. And I was in no hurry every day, just wandered from place to place, never made a hotel reservation, just stopped at the city that I ended up at, stopped by these little beaches everywhere, went swimming, just had a fantastic time mingling with the people. So many great experiences when I was there, but this is my favorite. I was going through the vineyards and here this man and his workers were tearing up the vineyards and planting new ones. And he was so friendly. I stopped my little scooter, he came up to me, we talked, he showed me what we were doing. And the next thing you know, he said, go into the vineyards, take all the grapes you want. I've never tasted grapes so delicious in my entire life. He was just fantastic. I walked in there, filmed him pulling up the vines and re-harvesting and replanting. It was just an amazing experience. These people are so cool. You know, my neighbor was Yugoslavian. His name was Eli Vunduk. And he always said, go back to the old country. And now I know what the old country's like. And they had this big cistern here filled with water, rainwater, and the fish are in there. And he went over to feed the fish and show me. He was just so friendly. I think I spent about a half hour there. Just a fantastic time. Then into the vineyards to pick grapes. I've never tasted grapes like this in my entire life. The flavor was incredible. They were super sweet. And then I continued on my journey and got into my next town. It was a beautiful little port city. I spent the night there, got an Airbnb. Then the next morning I woke up, got this beautiful sunrise. And I actually went scuba diving here because I wanted to check it out. I always like to scuba dive everywhere I go. I've scuba dived all over the world. Got some good scuba diving in. It wasn't the best of the world, but it was really cool. The people were cool and the dive master was great. And then in the afternoon, I caught a ferry over to Split. And that ferry ride was about three or four hours. And I did a quick time lapse here of the ferry coming up and everybody getting on. The cool thing is they're so relaxed there. There's no security or anything. You just kind of walk up anywhere you want. Everybody unloads and everybody jumps on. And so then I rode over to Split took a little nap, relaxed, rested because I was tired from scuba diving and then got into Split and found another Airbnb and stayed there and went through all these little narrow streets with my scooter. And the next morning I woke up and went to the market. Just a fabulous time. And I did a little quick video just to show you how narrow these streets are when I came home in the evening after going out and having a great time just walking through the city. Now, when I was coming home at night, I had to take a video of this because it's so outrageous. Look how narrow these streets are. A little tough to film it, but you get the idea. A scooter allows you to go places you just couldn't go with a motorcycle. A motorcycle's too heavy, you'd be afraid of getting stuck. But a scooter, 250cc, no problem. I wandered everywhere through all these narrow little streets and found my Airbnb. No big deal. Everything's cool. Lots of exploring. I love scooters. They're simple, they're easy, low maintenance, and you just go. The next morning I walked through the market, this guy's sleeping, we just had a great time. One of my favorite things to do is go to all the fresh fruits and vegetable markets and the fish markets and just mingle with the people. And in Croatia, they love their red peppers. And you know what? There's nothing I like more than these big, huge banana red peppers. They are fantastic and they were everywhere and I bought them all the time. And this is what I would munch on so healthy. People are just wonderful, just so, so down to earth being in these places. I found the people in Croatia very friendly, very helpful, and very proud of their beautiful produce. And then on to another little town. And it was just incredible because along the sea and along these islands, there are all these beautiful, architecturally fantastic cities 
that are thousands of years old, literally from Greek times. And I would just wander through the streets and just enjoy the warm weather, the beautiful architecture, the craftsmanship, and everything about all these little towns and villages. I, it just was endless. I never seemed to run out of them. I saw them on the map, I'd pass by them. I'd say, hey, I'm just gonna stop there and check it out. I had no agenda whatsoever. I got mussels at this one restaurant, and wonderful chicken soup. I just couldn't believe how good the food was. And this was the best thing. I came across this farmer and I took a picture of it because I got lost and they were so cool and so friendly. And then another town and another village. And then finally, it was time to go in the water again. And I found this great little beach and I wandered up a dirt path on my scooter got off and went down to the seaside. And next thing you know, I was at waterfalls. Every time I turned around, I was in some epic place enjoying another beautiful sunset. It was crazy. When I got into town this night, these nuns were walking down the street, snapped a quick picture. Wow, everywhere I went, I couldn't believe how beautiful everything was. And of course, my red banana peppers, I gotta have those in another market the next morning in a different city. And then I went over to Bosnia where the war was. And the war was everywhere in this whole area, but this is a very famous town and this bridge was blown up in the war and I walked across it. Now this place was crowded. I didn't enjoy it as much because there were so many people and everywhere else I went in Croatia, it was just very relaxed and very casual and not a lot of people on the roads, but it was very interesting wandering inland on the scooter into Bosnia and I loved it and I enjoyed it, but I definitely liked the coast of Croatia the very, very best. Next stop, Montenegro. I successfully completed 100 countries by the time I was 58 years old. And Montenegro was very cool. And this was my last day before I traveled back to Dubrovnik, spent the night there, woke up the next morning, and then flew home. But man, again, another beautiful place on my trip through the Balkans. A quick goofy selfie crossing from Montenegro back into Croatia. Then that evening, I had a wonderful last meal, woke up four o'clock in the morning, walked through the empty streets of Dubrovnik, which are spectacular, caught a cab over to the airport, and then flew home. Hopefully you enjoyed this epic trip of the Balkans.